Well, it finally happened. Mickey and Donald bought the farm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. No, I mean, they literally bought the farm. It's the subject of this set. Old MacDonald had a farm, and on that farm he had a mouse and a duck who were tending to the other animals in the farm. They're the owners of the farm, but they are themselves also farm animals. One of them is a rodent. It is a nuisance, and yet they're taking care of... Nope. I promised that I would be a little nicer in today's Mickey Mouse Monday, which is exactly what this is as we talk about Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck's Farm, a new set that came out at the beginning of August in 2021. This set contains 118 pieces and is another 4 plus set, and it only costs $30 here in the US. This set's actually not bad for what you get. It's basically like a, a farm accessory pack. There's a lot in here for 30 bucks. Plus you get a new Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck minifigure. So overall, not too bad. And I'm trying to be a little more positive about these Mickey and Friends sets because in the couple of previous Mickey Mouse Mondays, I may have been a little overly critical. And I realize now that that's a bit of my own ego talking because to me, I'm like, I'm ashamed to to be making a video about a Minnie Mouse set. And I posted something along those lines on Twitter and none other than Flynn from Tricky Bricks and from Lego Masters, he was like, why on earth would you be ashamed? And I literally thought about that comment for several days and have made reference to it on several other platforms. And I'm like, you're right, Flynn, I shouldn't be ashamed. That's my own ego talking. That's the weirdness of like a 30 year old dude talking about a Minnie Mouse Lego set, but hey, I like what I like. I like Disney. I like Mickey and Minnie Mouse, and I'm I'm proud to say it. And I like this little set, even though it is animals taking care of farm animals. But we'll talk more about the details of this set, and I'll tell you a sad story about a dog that I had to give away right after we build it. The build for this set, again, I have the privilege of assembling this little set with my four-year-old who is perfectly aged to build these sets, and he's also perfectly aged to get distracted by the tractor in this set, and he only wanted to drive that thing around, didn't really want to build the farmhouse itself or the barn, whatever it's supposed to be, but in any case, he still enjoyed the build. I still enjoyed the quality time. Overall, it was a good time all around. See, we're being positive. It was fun, not frustrating. Like I said before, this is basically a Lego farm accessory pack because of everything that you get included here. And there's a little Disney twist thrown on top of that. But honestly, I mostly bought this, well, because I was buying all of the Mickey and Friends sets from this wave, but also mostly for the animals. And among those animals are a duck and a mouse who are slightly more anthropomorphized than the rest of the animals on this farm. Of course, I'm talking about Mickey and Donald, both of whom are fine, but they don't have unique head pieces or unique molds. They just get unique torsos from what I can tell here. So not as great as the other figures in some of the other sets, but even so, nice accessories to have in this set. Besides that, we just get a whole bunch of other stuff. We get a little barn. It's full of hay. It's for horses and sometimes for cows, but there's a horse here, not a cow. There's also a sheep, which I think is harder to find in Lego sets. Maybe it's goats that are newer to Lego sets. In any case, this set contains a sheep and a rabbit and a chicken and an egg. I don't know which of those came first. There's also an apple and some corn and a carrot and some fences and a tractor. And didn't I say this is basically a little farm accessory set and I like it overall. I think it's quaint. I think it's nice. I think it's going to go in a big plastic bag. It's not going to get displayed anywhere, but still, I am glad to own it. This farm does remind me of one where I had to take Walter, our dog that we found and fostered for a while in the South Austin area, and he unfortunately had to go live on a farm in Oklahoma. And I mean that literally because we found a nice place for him to live. Some lady had a farm in Oklahoma. She offered to take him. It had a bunch of other dogs and animals running around. She didn't seem to have a lot else going on in her life. So it seemed a perfect match to give her yet another dog to take care of. And honestly, we were living in Austin at the time. I had to drive, I don't know, the five or so hours to get to Oklahoma and Walter in the backseat. He didn't know what was going on, the poor dude. And then I dropped him off to this lady where I met her and then I, I had to turn and walk away and and drive away and looking in my rearview mirror like there's no way to rationalize or explain to a dog it's like hey now you're you're going with this person and it's going to be better for you in the long run but you don't understand that and so i'm just watching him in my rearview mirror it's a dang homeward bound situation you don't know if shadow's coming over the hill but in this case i was driving away in a scion xb and i i tell you if you don't know if you could cry from the oklahoma border to the city of austin i'll tell you you can because 
I did. I still miss Walter. I hope he's doing well. And I still miss when you don't leave a comment down below telling me what you think about this cool little Disney and Friends set. As always, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope that you realize that it's fine to like whatever Lego sets that you like, unless it's video. That I still cannot make an exception for. Just kidding, I'm about to make a video video about why I like video. Okay, as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.